Hey guys, welcome to your first tutorial on programming with Objective-C. Now if you don't know already, Objective-C is a superset of the programming language C, and so there's very similar annotations, syntax to the C, just minor variations. Um, you don't have to know C to actually know what we're going to be doing here because I'm going to make it easy for you guys. And we're going to go through some of the basics and then move all the way up to some of the advanced features. Now if you haven't seen already, we've already done some Xcode 4 tutorials. Um, basically linking the interface with some Objective-C programming and uh, some other features within Xcode 4. And so that's what we're going to do and download to go through these Objective-C tutorials to start. So I'm going to take you to the easiest place to actually get Xcode. And lucky for you guys, there's actually a new version out and that's what we're going to search for. So just a heads up, Xcode 4 is only for Mac OS operating systems. So as you guys launch your Mac operating system, Mac Mini, iMac, whatever you've got, go ahead and open up your App Store. And this is going to be the first and the easiest way to actually acquire Xcode, which you're, which you're going to want to do first. So after you've got your App Store opened, like I've got here, you can either do one of two things, go to Categories up the top, and uh, go to developers or just go the short route search for Xcode up in the top right and you can see it's the first option here under developer tools so if you click into it you've got a uh, good three or four hours ahead of you for, as far as downloading because it's 1.68 gigabytes and this is the newest version the 4.2 which only runs on the operating system Lion so that's going to be the Mac OS 10 10.7 or later so just a heads up on there. If you do still have Snow Leopard, you're going to have to go to the second place, which I'm going to show you right here to download it. And you can download the older version, which is Xcode 3.2. Um, little less features, functionality, so I would recommend just upgrading to Lion and getting the newest Xcode for free through the App Store here and uh, moving forward there. So there's the first place in the App Store. Um, the other place that you can acquire Xcode from and download is go to your web browser and go to developer.apple.com this is where you can actually sign up to become a developer within the developer program you have to pay the ninety nine dollars a year if you're gonna submit apps stuff like that if you just want to program with Xcode and not submit any apps and then maybe pay later you can totally do that so just giving you a heads up on there otherwise the other way you can do it is become a member which doesn't grant you the right to submit apps but it gives you access to all the member tools. Um, there's tutorials. There's also code snippets that they give you. Um, how to's for all the different iOS 5 features that just came out. Um, so, great place to reference and all that. So, once you become a member, you can sign in um, within there. And then you can download Xcode 3.2 for your Snow Leopard or the newest Xcode 4 for your Lion. So, once you guys get that downloaded, um, we're going to go through actually what it looks like, how, how it feels, and then we're going to jump right into the Objective-C, some of the syntax, and uh, other features within Xcode to help you guys reference Objective-C and some of the basics to building an app. So hopefully this is a good start. Um, like I've said in previous tutorials, you know, subscribe, let us know if you're having troubles with you know, downloading something, trying to find something, something's not working, we'll try to help you out with that. Anyways, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Once you get Xcode 4 or 3 downloaded, you're set for the next tutorial. Alright, peace out guys.